Easy work boxing, man. About to hit you everywhere but under your feet with this one. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Man, I got to make a video on the boxer, man, who I've been watching over the years, who really gets on my nerves. Really is, should be a shame in the sport. Like, they should really, like, you know what I'm saying, dog him other boxers. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say this, but no disrespect to him as a man, you know what I'm saying? But in the part of boxing and me talking about boxing, man, this dude is trash. Andre, Andre the real man, he is fucking trash, y'all. I mean, man, Lord have mercy. I just was watching uh Dang, James DeGale, you know, pre uh, preview, you know, before the fight tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about, you know. Him and his life, and you know what I'm saying, when he was uh, won in the Olympics and things like that. But what I saw was that when he fought Andre Durrell, that Andre Durrell was literally trying to get a technical um, decision against uh, James DeGale. And he does this in every fight, y'all. If you ever watch Andre Durrell, every fight he's in, he's always, he won, I think he won a championship once, a title off. Some bullshit where he didn't fail to the ground and acted like somebody didn't hurt him. That shit is pathetic, man. When I saw that, I said, man, I got to make a video on this dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm, what what type of boxing is that? What what did, what the fuck did he learn that for him to try to go and win by technicality on fighters? You know what I'm saying? That shit was crazy, man. That shit, I, I don't understand that. I, I, I don't... What form of boxing is that? Then you know he had other um situation with the guy um Jose. I don't know how to say his name. You 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 Kataga or something like that. Where he was uh supposedly late hit and he still then played it off and all that. He, I think it's another fight he didn't did that in man. Hold up. Yeah, y'all. I know I had to pause it for a minute, man. I'm watching now. Carl Frotch versus Andre Durrell. Man, this dude here, he ain't got no grit in him, man. Carl Frotch, you true enough. Carl Frotch is doing illegal blows, illegal shit. They ain't taking a point, point from him. But come on, man. You got to go out there and fight him the same way he fighting you, man. You know he doing illegal shit. Stop playing with him. Stop playing with him. He was whooping, he was whooping on Frotch's ass in the beginning of the fight. Now Frotch done got in his head from the illegal shit, and he can't fight. He getting punched in the face trying to talk to the ref. Ref, he hitting me. That boy ain't got no grit in him. He, to me, Andre Durrell is a middle class dude who owned the box, or their granddaddy was a boxer and made them like want a box. Uh, shout out to him. Like I always say, black successful man getting his money, no hating on him or nothing. But to me, man, Andre Durrell is not built for boxing. He ain't got no grit in him, no struggle, no fight. You keep letting Carl Frog punch you in the back of the head, put his elbow under your neck, hold your head down. You ain't did nothing illegal yet. This this crazy. I'm trying to look at this shit. Punch him in the back of the head. But he playing with this man. I wish I was a boxing car frost was to do that do that shit to me. I would have punched that motherfucker in his nest so hard. This shit crazy. But yeah, y'all, man. Andre the real man, uh, he need to retire or just give up the sport of boxing, man. You can't go out there fighting people and expecting if they hit you the wrong way to fall to the ground and win a championship. You can't expect to go out there with somebody fighting dirty or you crying to the ref instead of getting your get back. He, he ain't got no, he ain't built for it, man.
He can fight now. Don't get me wrong. This man go out there and risk his life. You know what I'm saying? He get hit in his face. You know what I'm saying? He go uh, end up getting real hurt in the ring. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to him. I don't want nobody to think I'm disrespecting him. But from the me watching boxers, Andre the Red one like the worst boxers I ever seen heart wise and uh and grit wise. He ain't got none of that in him. He got skills though. Good South Paul, he just He ain't got that fire in him, man. At all. Every fight he in, he's slipping and falling. Like, what the fuck is going on? I ain't never really seen his brother fight too much. A twin. I'm talking he just keep allowing Frost to hit him with cheap shots. And, but I can understand if he do hit him back like that, then, you know what I'm saying, they probably waiting on him to do that so they could, uh, cause they just took a point from Darrell. Why? I don't know. Because he ain't really doing too much. He ain't doing nothing illegal. Frost doing all the illegal shit. But I'm finna see who fin who won this right here. Carl Frotch won. He deserved to win because he got in his head and he he treated him like a little boy out there in the ring. He got in his head and he made him lose. But Anthony, I mean, um, Andre the real man. Lord, no, no, bro. You need a new coach, new trainer, new something. Um, damn. Every time I see him fight, he always falling and winning belts by technicalities and. Uh, you seen it's an epic motherfucking video. Y'all seen it? We talking about some man. He dropped me, and everybody's like, "No, he didn't drop you." And uh, man, come on, Andre the Real man. No hate on you, nothing, nothing against you, man. But when it comes to boxing, I'm gonna tell the truth. Andre the Real, you either need to retire or become a promoter or a trainer or something, cause you ain't got it in you, bro. You ain't got that fire in you, and that fire come from struggle. You know what I'm saying? And he he just don't have it. I'm sorry to say he ain't got y'all. But this is work boxing. Thank you for your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. If you like to donate, go to username or about. I appreciate anything you can donate, man. It could be 50 cent. It don't matter. I just thank y'all most of all for watching the videos and taking time out your life to watch me. Uh, this weekend, man, y'all be safe. Take care of your family, your kids, man. And I hope to see y'all watching the videos, man. Everybody be safe out there. This is work boxing. I'm signing out.